what makes a fried chicken Filipino fried chicken? So um, what we do is we marinate um, our fried chicken in the long pepper, tamarind uh, seasoning, and which is called sinigang. So sinigang is like a, a, a Filipino sour soup. Um, what we do is we marinate our um, uh, fried chicken in uh, tamarind powder, and you know it kind of resembles the the dish sinigang, you know. I see. So sinigang is a sour soup, and that's sort of the basis. It sounds like it's made sour by the tamarind, and then yes. that. Yes. And so you're using that, the idea of sinigang as the marinade for marinade fried chicken. Fried chicken yes. And then okay. We, uh, even our uh, uh, seasoned dredge has uh, sinigang uh, tamarind powder in it. So you know uh, we marinate it in sinigang, and then the 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 dredge has. Uh, tamarind also and then we fry it and then we dredge we season it with more tamarind powder and it's just uh uh it has that uh tangy um flavor to it when it comes out of the fire and so is our uh, is this uh uh thigh or breast or the whole chicken or what what parts do you use uh we do um chicken wings which is uh the whole wing tip and uh chicken thighs great so that it's bone in fried chicken Yes, bone and fried chicken. I gotcha. And and yeah. what is Filipino spaghetti? Um, have Have you heard of um, so Filipino spaghetti is pretty much like a a, a bony sauce, but um, it has um sugar, so it's sweet like sweet bolognese, and then it has a uh, red hot dogs, like which is Filipino hot dogs. Um, so that's what makes Filipino spaghetti. Um, it's you know Filipino spaghetti is usually like a sweet red sauce with hot dogs and spaghetti. Yeah, Sounds which fun. is really uh, fun. You should, you can have it in uh, Jolly Jollibee has the Filipino stuff spaghetti, you know, so. Uh, it, it sounds sort of like an ultimate type of comfort food, you know, starchy and. It is. Yes. Definitely hits the spot, you know, like, yeah, uh, if, if you're drinking, you know, from the previous night, I think it's a perfect <laughs> uh, hangover food type, you know, like fried chicken and spaghetti, you can't go wrong with that. So Pokey Boy is going to have the fried chicken. It's going to have the spaghetti. What what else is it going to have? Um, right now we have the burgers. Um, we have a Tocino burger, which is a uh, like uh, gr a sweet ground pork, um, vinegar. So pretty much Tocino is kind of like a sweet um, pork dish of the Philippines. So what we do is uh, we marinate uh, some pork shoulder in, um, you know, vinegar, black pepper, garlic, brown sugar, and then we grind it and turn it into a patty and then we turn it into a burger, like a Tocino burger. So it's a pork burger. It's, it's not Tocino on top of a burger. The Tocino is the burger. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Tocino. Yeah. We grind the Tocino into a patty and, you know, and then we uh, serve it with a grilled pineapple and uh, a chara, which is Filipino pickles. Uh, and um, our buns, you know, with the secret sauce. What's the secret sauce like? I'm not asking you to give any secrets away. Oh, no, no. Um, we just called it the secret sauce because, uh, you know, you know how McDonald's has their own secret sauce yep. version. So uh, ours is mayo-based, uh, has cornichons, uh, uh, chili vinegar, you know, because usually when you eat casino, you kind of dip it in chili, some kind of sort of chili vinegar. So that's what it is. I gotcha. Sort of like um, a spicy tartar sauce. Yes, basically, yes. Yeah. Spicy tartar sauce, but it's red because we add oh. banana ketchup to it, too. <laughs> that sounds great. So, yeah. so, so before Pogi Boy, tell, tell our audience about your background. What were you doing before? Um, so I was, I've been a chef in D.C. for a long time, um, about seven years now. Uh, before Pogi Boy, I was working with uh chef eric bruner yang at abc pony i opened that place up and previous to that i was working with uh, chef kaha armstrong uh i was a chef at Rashani for two and a half years and i was a chef at kaliwa at the wharf for two years so, yeah. so this is your first venture where you're kind of like the the front man um yes I guess in a sense of like, you know, I was the head chef at my previous uh, 
spots, but like now it's like, uh, you know, me and my business partners are, you know, the ones making the, the full decisions now. So it's, it's, it's nice to kind of just be in charge, you know, and um, uh, take care of your own um, destiny, I guess, <laughs> you know. Um, so, so I, you, sorry, go ahead. Uh, no, I was just saying. Uh, I think it's just about time to, you know, uh, venture out on our on our own and um, you know see where it takes us. Uh, and so, Pokey Boy is open now. It's it's about to open. What is it? Yeah, open? we we opened in January twenty uh, seventh of uh, this year. Uh, you know, um, it was a really interesting time for us because of you know the pandemic, and um, you know we kind of saw it as an opportunity to cook Filipino food and um you know within the situation that we're given so um I I think the fast food uh Filipino fast casual concept was kind of the way to to go to go about it you know um it, it gave us the like I said the opportunity to cook Filipino food and um it, it's what you know the the city needed at the time you know um uh, they just needed something quick and accessible and it's good food, you know, so that's the kind of route we wanted to take with this concept. And, and thanks to Tim Cunan in uh, DC is kind of the, uh, the hotbed for Filipino cuisine. He, he kind of got the whole national movement going yeah. with that scene. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny because, um, when, when, when Chef Tom, uh, uh, first opened Bad Saint, I was his sous chef. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so um, and I know, keep it's, mispronouncing it's nice. his name. I call him Tim. I call him Tom. Oh, Tom! It's <laughs> Tom Kananen. Yes. Yeah, Tom. I yeah, it's, uh, it's nice to reunite with him. You know, to be honest with this uh, project, because you know he he is kind of like my 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 big brother. You know, um, um, he you know he has a lot of influence in in, in my cooking, and um, uh, it's nice for us to you know reunite and kind of do this project together. You know. You know, it's fun and you know it's nice to pick each other's uh brains a little bit you know so but so your cooking background though isn't necessarily filipino you've cooked all kinds of food yeah but uh, i i i really love filipino food you know uh i i like cooking um my heritage um my future project would be you know Fil filipino food like i, I i'd want to uh cook Filipino food just moving forward you know um I want it to be like a staple and um um just want to educate people more about it and you know what it's about and you know kind of like what Chef Tom did with uh, uh for our food you know I just kind of want to be um that pioneer for it as well and how's business been since January um, business has been really good, you know. Um, we're really fortunate with the support from the Filipino community and the Asian community around here in Washington D.C. And um, you know, we can't complain. You know, we're we're happy with you know um, everyone's uh, support, and and people are still um, supporting us uh, since. And you know, it's it's given with the pandemic. You know, uh, we're very fortunate to have the support of um, the Filipino locals and. Um, from from Virginia, Maryland, and uh, D.C., you know, so we're, we're pretty happy about that. So, are are a lot of your customers Filipino? Uh, majority of them, yes. Majority of them are, um, you know, fam uh, Filipino families. Um, especially on the weekends, we see a lot more of um, those local Filipinos driving in, bringing in their family to eat. Um, during the weekdays, it's a majority of. Uh, the clientele from um, the downtown area because we're in the downtown area um you know it's it's nice to see a diverse group of people walking in to be honest so so you've you've only been open two months but do you guys have plans to expand to make this a big national we change? are um we are working towards the expansion hopefully by the end of 2021 um you know we want to create like a, a pogi brand which is you know just uh like a fast casual filipino concept you know that just you know um for a second location i think we're looking towards going uh annandale area 
Um, so that's where we're at, to be honest. That's that's Virginia, right? Yeah, Virginia. Yeah, we're thinking of doing like a Asian, uh, Filipino Asian barbecue, um, uh, Asian beer garden, sometime at the end of twenty twenty one. So, if things work out, you know, hopefully uh, that's where we will be. Well, that's exciting. So, are you gonna call that po- Pokey Boy Two? Or are you gonna like change it up and call it Pokey oh, Q? Wait, wait. Or yeah, exactly. We're calling it Pokey Q. It, it, it's like you're reading uh, my head right now, you know. I've but, I've, uh, I've reported uh, on a... call... Yeah, we're calling it Pogi <laughs> Q. You got it on point, actually. Well, I've I've reported on a restaurant before, so sometimes <laughs> I have an idea what we're doing. Uh, yeah. Though that was just lucky. And and so what 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 are your most popular items? I'm guessing the fried chicken, but I don't know. Uh, right now, um, for Pogi Boy, the fried chicken is a popular seller. Um, we have this, um, like I said, the Tocino Burger and um, the Eugene, which is like a Baltimore pit beef style uh, sandwich. But uh, we, we, we do like a, a bistec sauce, which is a, a soy sauce, calamance, uh, onion. So it's like a traditional Filipino dish, you know. Uh, that we turn into a, a pit beef sandwich with the with the onion bun, horseradish, uh, burnt onion, horseradish sauce, you know, um, yeah. And the Filipino spaghetti is also a popular item. And why is it called the Eugene? Um, it's named after um, Chef Tom's late brother. Uh-huh. Um, his brother passed away in November when we were, um, before we started the concept. And, you know, it was... Uh, the pit beef sandwich was one of the sandwiches that they had together. So it, it was an homage to his uh, late brother. 